she said, do you come from a land down under? Well, today I got a uh, letter in the mail, a package in the mail here. It's from uh, Neil Moore. Um, and I was wondering what it was, and there it is. The Omar GeoFest 2017 travel book for vloggers. Um, so, there it is. Uh, I'm going to take it around and uh, shoot some video with it. Uh, around uh, Simcoe, Ontario, Canada, uh, one of the many places it's uh, in its journey and uh, take some pictures and add to the trackable page uh, before I send it off. Uh, I believe I'm sending it to Moto Joe in uh, New Mexico after this. Uh, it's been uh, around quite a bit. Uh, so far it's traveled 26,701.1 miles here a better screen here so view it on the map here so start down here in Australia and it's been to uh, all over the USA and over to the UK and back so now it's uh, Right there, where I am, two, stop number 201, and gonna move it on a little bit farther. Okay. The uh, first uh, geocache I'm gonna have the Omar Geocoin visit, uh, trackable visit, is uh, my cache right outside of work here. Doesn't quite fit, but you get the point. So. I'm going to attach one of my travel fleas to uh, the uh, Omar Geocache uh, GeoFest uh, travel book here. Um, if you're unaware what travel fleas are, they're just little tags and they say along for the ride and then you just att attach it to your trackable and they go on a ride and they uh, just tell you people that hey sim rebels had this trackable at one time and good to go um you can get these things at uh, travelforlease.com uh, multiple colors uh, really nice little tags to add to your trackables uh, there you have it a little bit more bling for the uh travel book just a, just a note, to, uh, when I received the uh, Amar Geotag, it was just called uh, Trackable Dog Tags. And so I messaged uh, Al Steamer here, the owner of the uh, Trackable, and says, you know you can go in and edit the uh, name. So they changed it to the Amar Omaru Geofest Travel Bug for Vloggers. So, a little better name than just Travel Bug Dog Tags. So, if you, here's one of mine. And if you go in and edit it, the name of the coin or trackable is right there. So, you can put in whatever name you want for it. The other thing you can do with trackables that a lot of people don't know is uh, you can actually watch a trackable and get get updates on a log. So if you're passing one along and you want to keep track of it where it goes after you, you can uh, just cl click on watch this trackable and at the bottom of your list of watch items as trackable items on your watch and there there it is on my watch list so I can keep track of it 
after I drop it off. The uh, Almaru Geofest also has a collectible geocache fundraising coin. And I believe those birds are like kiwis because it's the kiwi cachers that are putting on this event. So $25, I'm not sure if that's uh, New Zealand cash or Canadian cash, American cash. So uh, you can get that at the uh, Omaru Geofest 2017 website.com. There he is with the Omaru uh, geotag. So another uh, cemetery cache here, and I couldn't find this uh, last year when I was here, but there it is, and there's the Omaru uh, geocache, or trackable, being discovered here. I uh, decided to come out and do uh, some maintenance on the cache I own out on the trail here. I don't know why. It's always the one that's in the middle of the trail. About equal distance from each concession to drive down to it. So going down here, we okay, got about halfway to the cache already. And then it's one of the more difficult caches to get to. And the cache location is just over this little tree stump. And yes, people have fell off this tree stump. And yes, I've been one of those people that fell off the tree stumps. So I'm going to try to make it across. But I'm going to put the phone away so it doesn't go flying in the muck. Well, I stepped on that and my foot went through. Kind of cracked that up. Phone went to the ground. Fortunately, it wasn't wet there. Be using this nice little stick to help me across. And I did get a little mucky on the side but not too bad mosquitoes around here are not too great so I'm gonna to try to make this fast this cache is here and there's the old one and it's kind of all kind of beat it up so I'm gonna put the new one in stick that right in there and The uh, Omara Geofest is going to visit it, so I'm just going to leave that there and take a picture. Put a little bit of bark over it and make it look a little better. Okay, now let's get back over the side and get back down the trail. Okay, a little bit of maintenance done. There's the bridge in the back. I made it across somewhat safety and only a little bit of a wet foot here. A lot of people on this trail passed by a couple runners and a few bikers. They just ran by me down one concession back to the other concession while I was doing the whole cache here. So a little bit of a walk back here. And I'm not sure if we're going to get any more caching in before I send this off to the track of loft Moto Joe but we'll uh, see what we can do. Well gonna have to say goodbye to the Omaru Geocache Geofest uh, trackable and uh, taking it up to the post office a little trip through the park in Simcoe to uh, see what's going on. Just going pop through the park and on my way to the post office. Uh, a couple geocaches uh, in the park here, uh, already done of course. One being uh, where I go that I have. Uh, the uh, post office is just up here beside the park, so we'll uh, get out and uh, have to buy a new envelope and uh, a. Uh, See how much it costs us to ship this out. There's a government building here. $1.29 or $1.49. $1.49.
Well, I should have left the cameras running while I was dealing with them. So, write up the package, put it in, and she goes, well, where, where's it going? It's like, oh, I'm going to put the light package, because it, with the bubble wrap, it wouldn't fit the uh, standard envelope. So I should have used the other more expensive envelope, and probably would have went letter size. So, the uh, bubble mailer pouch, $1.49. And then light package 684, so it cost me 852 Canadian to, uh, <laughs> to ship that out. <laughs> oh, it's all in fun. Uh, so I'm off for lunch. So, Joe, uh, it's in the mail. Hopefully, it gets to you because uh, she couldn't find uh, New Mexico because she was looking international instead of stateside. Not <laughs> quite. Uh, the hassle trying to find it and then she realized hey it's in the states when she used the zip code so <laughs> lots of fun okay that's it for today uh catch you later catch you on the trails